Hi everyone, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Ding! It's a Weeple. Well, that's what I call them. If you grew up in the 80s, you know what these little guys are. In my case, these were hawked to us if we sold magazines. I think that's called child labor. Anyways, they're really simple and easy to make, and there's no reason they have to sell anything for these things, in my opinion. So I made these with my son, and we made a little army of them. And they were super fun and easy to make. We made them in all different colors. <laughs> Let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you what we did. So if you want to make antenna, just cut about a 5 inch length of cording and then just dip the ends in some glue. I'm using Aline's tacky glue until you form two little beads of glue on the ends. And then hang up the little pieces to dry. When the antenna are dry, then you can just take a little bit of black paint and dab them on the ends so they match the cording. So I'm just using these foam stick-on clovers for feet, but you can use paper cutouts or anything for that matter and then apply a generous amount of glue. Hot glue would be faster and stronger, but since I'm working with little guy, I am using just Aline's tacky glue. Then squish on your pom-pom, and then just do the same thing for the eyes. Just apply a little dab of glue, and then stick on your googly eyes. So take your antenna and fold them in half and make a little knot near the bottom and that way it'll splay out like a nice little V. Then squirt some glue inside your pom-pom and then add your antenna and give it a good pinch till it stays in place. Say hello to your weeple! So there's your little weeple friend, super easy to make and very, very cute. You certainly don't need to go at any lengths that I did to make the antenna, but it was worth it to me because I felt like I gave it kind of an air of authenticity. Isn't it amazing what a little pair of googly eyes can do? <laughs> so if you end up making these, make sure you share them with me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see your beautiful army of weeples. All right, happy weepling. Potato crisp versus king crisp. And Rachel says she actually likes king. So let's give them a taste. I've had tato before. I tried the tato crisp in my Emmy's Ireland part two with Donald. And this one I have not tried. 